Right, oh, no, we're off once again. Like, this is the last weekend of the season, so we've just built this camper trailer. We're going to luxury this time. We've got Aaron's rooftop tent, the Weber, we've got roast and everything, venison and roast to take with us. So we might do a bit of a, a cook up tonight. We've got the young fella with us. Uh, we'll check back in. We're just going to go and get some goods from the supermarket and then punch on out to a spot. We're trying a new spot this time, so. Oh, you're not okay. <laughs> yeah, he's got the tires in the hole up here. destination we're just setting up camp now and chase is over there collecting a heap of shotgun shells uh, it's a good little spot this you got a fair area you got the camp trail that was just built half built still got to do a bit more to it but you now we've got our drawer we've got all that gear in the drawer bar there uh, i utilize the canopy off my ute nice cheap alternative he took me two days to build it so it's well worth it we've got all this area i reckon we might even be able to shoot a couple of deer from camp it looks like pretty good hunting this farmland down over here oh, probably 800 meters to a kilometer away but there's plenty or well, used to be plenty of deer running through here i don't see much sign at the moment yeah, I'll keep setting up camp. Once we get her all set up, we might go for a wander. We'll do that and get back in talking to you. Well, that's camp all done and dusted. We're living it up this time around. Get the solar, the fridge. The camp tray. We've got our little pantry here. Full of our goodies. Tell you what, it's nice to actually have a decent setup instead of swagging it all the time and just sort of living off the back of the ute. Aaron's got the Taj Mahal up here, he's all set up. He's just making a cup of them. And this time, this is probably the best part of it. We're so excited about this. We've actually got hot water, hot shower. This little unit here we borrowed off our mate. Our chasers over there still picking up bloody shotgun shells. Having a blast. This is more than Chase's bedroom. So we're all set. We're gonna hunker down. Have we're having samba snags for dinner tonight. And we're gonna do some venison stroganoff tomorrow I reckon for dinner. Um, Aaron's gonna have to shoot into town. Tomorrow for an appointment, so me and Chase will kick it back here and we'll go for an evening hunt when he gets back. I don't know if we'll bother hunting tonight, we'll just probably just kick it here and have a look around here, see what sign's about, and then get out of it in the morning, give it up tomorrow afternoon, whatnot. We're here till Sunday, so what have we got? It's today, Thursday. Three days, so plenty of time to go hunting, so. Anyway, we're going to have a coffee. Well, if anything exciting happens, as usual, we'll check back in. Got a gun shot in the day, so hopefully the boys push him across to us. It's blowing a gale, and Aaron had to go to his appointment. We were just sitting there freezing, so as soon as he got back, we changed spots. We're a bit closer to farmland now, so there should be a few about. Chase your boys, buddy, up in the bush there. <laughs> you coming, mate, or not? 
All right, so we're just gonna stroll down this hill here. See what's about. We've got a nice clearing over the other side of this hill here. Uh, unfortunately, there's a couple of campers down over there. Not much we can do about it. We can stop. There goes another gunshot there. When you're hunting state forest, you can't pick and choose. As the afternoon approached, we found an ideal spot overlooking several game trails. All of a sudden, I heard Chase whisper, Dad, look at the bucks. As I looked over to where he was pointing, I seen several animals, which turned out to be 17 bucks, all of which were on private property, unfortunately. All we could do is eagerly watch, wait, and hope one would come our way. But before I knew it, night was on our heels, and we had to head back to camp empty-handed once again. Right, I'm just boning out this uh, leg of venison. We're going to make some. What are we making again? Um, beef stroganoff. Beef stroganoff. Oh, uh, venison <laughs> stroganoff. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Real good shot. Have a look at that. Bloody beautiful. Eating like kings. We've been the whole weekend, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We did. We've seen a spike. I didn't get it on camera, unfortunately. You just see his head poking up through the bracken for. This is the only deer we've seen. Oh, well, we've seen a lot out on the middle of the farm, but they're out of bounds. So, none of them for us. But there's quite a few shots that probably would be probably all up to a dozen shots, I suppose. Ten or a dozen. So, someone's been getting lucky. Just out of season this year, we just don't have much luck. But that's all going to change tomorrow. Can I think positive about it? Aren't we, Chase? Oh, that's four pieces already. Is that tender? Straight off the tip. All right, that's our venison done. Now we're just going to brand it on the web up after I salt it. The offside is a bit slack today, mate. He hasn't even got the weather fired up. And we got a treat for dessert. And I'm bloody looking forward to that. I always suck my first. A lot of people don't, but you didn't see it last time, did you, Chase? He try and blow himself up. She went, woof! <laughs> so, Maggie's. Oh, on to the Weber with the meat now. We're doing hard, we haven't got a frying pan or nothing, so straight on the plate. Improvise. Yeah. Right, we'll let that brown up for five. Mm -hmm. Right, we've got the meat browned off now, and this is. This is our pot tonight. 
<laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. But it's looking bloody good and it's smelling sensational. So I'll close the lid and give it probably five minutes and then throw the meat into it. And tonight, oh, sorry mate. Tonight, our bloody dessert is. Sorry about the poor lighting. Oh, there's our rice. Oh, where are we? There. <laughs> In my camp kettle. We got too excited to come shoot and we didn't end up bringing any pots or pans. So. This is bloody dessert. How good is that? Butterscotch self sourcing pudding. Bon appetit. It smells bloody delicious. The young fella loves it. So. Had something come through the bush, which ended up only being a young doe. Then we had these bucks that we could have shot, but they were too young for us. We chose the older ones, 20 plus points. You know, unfortunately, a lot of people don't do that. They just shoot the first one that's got antler that shows up, which to us is not right. We need to let them go, let them go. I can understand uh, it's your first deer taking it, but. For us, we shot plenty, so we didn't bother about it. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Muchly appreciate your support and everyone's viewings and subscriptions. Um, feel free to leave a comment in the section below uh, Like subscribe share with your friends all that good stuff We've got another video coming out in the next couple of days uh, We end up going tuna fishing and having quite a bit of luck, which was good. So There's some pretty good content. There's not as much as what I like because as you can imagine it's pretty bloody hard to try and film uh, while you're trying to fish <laughs> hunting is just as bad, but Fishing seems to be worse because you've got the boat, boat rocking and especially with one, one tuna was 28 kilo, one was 22, so good times. More food for the freezer, friends and family, etc. So anyway, we'll get on with that. I hope you've enjoyed it. There'll be plenty more content to come. We're going to go shoot some footage of the ruck, so there'll be some good content in there as well. Anyway. That's it for me. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.